Fox Sports Kansas City welcomes Sporting KC to the game tonight. This is Sporting KC's first season on Fox Sports Kansas City. They'll be on Saturday night at home against Montreal. And Seth Sinovic, as we mentioned in the bottom of the second inning, is going to join us here in the booth as Jason Hamill goes back to work. And our good buddy Nate Bucati, when we were getting ready for you coming on tonight, he said, You got to have Seth on because he is a huge Royals fan. That I am, yeah. It's uh been a rough uh, early childhood Royals fan, but uh, the last few years have been uh, pretty pretty remarkable. Well, that's why I asked you before we started when you graduated from high school, just to give it some perspective. When you were probably really starting to pay close attention to the Royals, it was nothing like it's been the last four years. No, it's been incredible. Uh, you know, going to the the wild card game, I, I think I went to every time we were in town. I went to every home game during the playoffs and the wild card game, and that was one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. So. No doubt. Heard you're a season ticket holder. Uh, I am, yeah. yeah. Good. Where are your seats? Uh, just down the line here, uh, over in left field. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah. Nice uh, share it with a few people. So. Oh, good. Yeah. That's yeah. Where, where I bought my <laughs> tickets for postseason. Yeah. That's good seats down there. Oh, they're great seats. Yeah. I was uh, for the wild card game. I was up in the upper deck, way out in left field. Is that one of the best baseball games you ever witnessed? It was the best baseball game I ever witnessed. I totally was, agree. Uh, oh man, it was it was electric. It was <laughs> it was great. I. My favorite story from that night was uh, after the game, we were uh, leaving, walking out to the parking lot, and some guy from 20, 30 yards away from me made eye contact with me, pointed to me, and then patted to his chest, and we ran, sprinted towards each other and did a chest bump, and it was just some random, random, uh, random guy in the parking lot. It was great. Hey, now, I saw your pitch to opening day. Was this the first time, I mean, opening pitch tonight? It looked like it was just off the corner, just like where we want Hamill to throw. Yeah, it was a little outside, but uh, yeah, I was I was just making sure I didn't embarrass myself. So. No, you didn't. Why Eski? I've uh, never seen Eski catch an opening pitch. I love Escobar. Oh, uh, no wonder. He's, uh, um, you know, I like the guys that uh, don't always get all the love, uh, the guys that do the little things that don't get noticed all the time. And, uh, you know, he's obviously capable of making a lot of flashy plays and, uh, um, you know, producing from the plate. You know, he had the one. Uh, uh, Inside the park home run against the Mets in game one. So, uh, no, I, I like the guys that uh, that are the hard workers and don't get noticed as much. You know, what you brought up about the wild card game is exactly what I remember the most about the wild card game. I mean, Salvi's hit obviously in the big comeback, but when people say, you know, what do you remember most about it? And I always say, when, I, when the game was over, I had to go from the radio booth out to uh, Rivals where we were doing the post game show, and I had to go through the crowd to yeah. get there and to watch people react and you could tell it was people that didn't know each other and they're just hugging each other and high fiving and it and I think you know we can be a little isolated in the booth here and I'm sure you probably feel the same you know playing for sporting and you're so focused on the game that you forget about what this means to the people but I remember it really hit me this I mean it's over you know the the, the drought is over they're a playoff team now nice play by Hosmer and he played it on a bounce so and out at first. And Bregman moves up to second base. So one down. But that that honestly Seth, that's my most vivid memory is just watching the reaction of the people. You know, I mean, they were a playoff caliber team. And if you were just a Kansas Cityan, you know, you're all on the same side. Yeah, it's uh, I mean, not only with the baseball team, but I feel like the city kind of came together uh, mm -hmm. when the Royals went on their two runs there. And, um, you know, when when the sports teams are doing well in Kansas City, it makes it a, a great place to live. And this is a great time to be a Kansas City sports fan. I mean, the Chiefs are on the edge of, you know, getting to a Super Bowl. I mean, Arrowhead speaks for itself. I mean, that's exciting all the time. And I'm going to confess to you right now that while I want to go, Springer goes deep to right field and Bonifacio to the track and brings it down. Two down. Nate Bucati's been trying to get me to a game and bring my uh, my young sons out there. But uh, I mean. Children's Mercy Park is kind of the Arrowhead Stadium of MLS, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, it's it's been incredible ever since it opened. Um, you know, the fans have been great. I think we have almost 100 straight sellouts, which is incredible for for Major League Soccer. So um, it's kind of our own little fortress there. We're uh, we're on a little run here, and um, yeah, we got to get you out to a game. We'll, we'll take I, care I of you. I want to go. It's great. Me and the boys have gone yeah. two or three games. Love it, man. And, and now you're going to be playing on Fox Sports Kansas City here this Saturday, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We're, uh, we partnered hey, with Fox. What's it like being a, a professional soccer player? It's fun. Uh, you know, I 
the, any, anybody that asks me that, I always say I get to play a sport for a living. That's my job. It's uh, in your hometown. In my hometown, uh, my parents and grandparents get to, and brother and sister, um, and uh, fiance. Uh, all get to go to all the games. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's it's, it's incredible. Um, very lucky to be in the position I'm in, and to, to be playing a professional sport in your hometown is uh, it's it's words can't describe it. Nate told me you and Matt Beasler played little league baseball together. We did. Yeah. Really? We did. Yeah. We've uh, we've actually been on the same soccer team since we were seven years old. Well, I figured that, yeah. but it crossed then, over uh, to yeah, baseball. We played baseball okay. as well. Yeah. So hey um, hey hey, Rhino, there's two outs quickly. I had to ask you. The hot dog race tonight. Some of your teammates oh, yeah. are going to be running in it. Yeah, we got uh, we got some pretty fast guys oh, out there. Oh, tonight. I Should bet be it's going to be. The, I'll bet it be the best race, the fastest race ever. I think since they're soccer guys and the condition you guys are in, I mean, just blows my mind. I mean, just yeah. a constant movement. I think they should start from the visitors' bullpen and have to run the entire track all the way back to the visitors' <laughs> bullpen. I would, I would watch that. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fun. So, I can't wait. What challenges will Montreal bring your way on Saturday? They're, they're a team that's going to sit back a little bit and look to counterattack us. Um, they've got some really talented attacking players. Um, Piatti is an Italian player that they brought over, um, one of the better players in the league. Um, but hopefully, uh, you know, with the warm weather, we'll, we'll hopefully use that to our advantage. We're kind of getting used to the, the heat and humidity right now, and I think it's been 50s all week in Montreal. So. Well, I want to see you score another goal. I think I, I, I've been working on right. it. I was close last week. I'm trying. Seth, way to go, <laughs> man. Thanks, Thanks a lot, for Seth. coming up, buddy. No, thank you for having me. I really appreciate Enjoy it. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thanks.